Now, according to statistics, it is estimated that 246 million children and adolescents around the world experience school violence and bullying in some form. And this causes children to become despondent. Joining us on the couch today is Colleen Locke, who is here to share her story of how she endured being bullied since the age of six and what helped her survive. Hello, Colleen, how are you? Good. Thank you so much for being here today and for being such a brave girl for coming to share your story. Are you feeling good today? Are you feeling strong? Yes. Good. So now, what happened at school? When I was six years old, I was diagnosed as a diabetic and I, I must use insulin because my body don't have insulin and mm. that's when the bullying, bullying started. And What did the kids say to you? They start calling me names when I when I go to school, the, the second time I go to school, after I yeah. get out of the hospital, and they start calling my names, like, some of the, them said I'm going to marry an insulin pen, and some of them said that I'm, they don't want to come near me or they don't want to play with me because I'm... Um, or because you were using yeah. the insulin, hey? Yeah. And then what happened? They start bullying me because, by calling me names and stuff. So then I... When I go home, I don't want to talk to anybody or I just go to my room, I do my work and stuff and I lock myself, I lock myself up in the room. I don't want to talk like to anybody. And I got, got rude with my family, I just... Yeah, so I got you, just, rude. you just you feel like you just closed off. Yes. You didn't want anybody to come near you. Yes. And then the one day it, it got a little bit dangerous for you. How did you end up in hospital? Uh, it's when it's break time. It's actually that's the problem because yeah. when I go the bell rings for break that started. I need to go to bathroom to inject myself and stuff. So the children blocked the bathroom door, so I could not get in. So I literally could not get in, could not get past them. Yeah. So, I, so when the bell rings for break, that's over. I didn't even inject myself or even eat. So then, obviously, your insulin levels dropped and then you needed to go to hospital. Yes. Oh, my baby, I'm so sorry that happened to you. Kids can be so cruel. Eventually, you, you got taken out of the school, hey? Yes. Because it just got too much. Yes. Oh, I mean, what, what do parents do when, when things get so tough? Because it's, I mean, it, it's financially difficult, it's stressful, like, it's, it's so a shame. You didn't deserve that, my love. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Kids can be so, so tough. That, what do you do as a parent? You see, that's just another example that she was just a target. They, had, yeah. they knew that they could use something against her, but they didn't yeah. know how dangerous it was. Like you said, do they really realise what they're doing? Yeah. Um, so parents, when Colleen's mum contacted us, we gave her the step-by-step -step guide that we have. It's yeah. very important to follow that step, step and not just take your own, you know, the, sure. everything into your own hands and trying to resolve yeah, it. Yeah, because me as a parent, I'd want to go and punch the other kids. Yeah. Don't do that. <laughs> yeah, don't do that. A lot of people say that on social, <laughs> social media. I know, I wouldn't yeah. really. But, but you can't do that, unfortunately. There's, there's legal implications to everything. So, um, like I said, the first step that we recommend, because we work with the Department of Education, we're using their step-by-step -step guide, yeah. as well as legal steps that we've combined to create um, you know, uh, yeah. easy... But do you product. think that kids like that bullying, you know, in this case, just, they should have been educated as to what was going on in Colleen's exactly. life? Exactly. Because have, then yeah. they would have been sympathetic. They would have learnt, uh, you know, character skill. That So what, did you tell the teachers and did you tell the principal what was happening to you? Yes, but they actually didn't do anything. Really? Yes. Like, oh, what and it, it's so then in simple. That case? It's so just, simple. It's simple to sort it out. Yeah. You know, you know just to teach informing children, everybody. especially at that age, to teach children compassion. Exactly. You actually you you arming those children with character strength exactly. instead of making them because they're bullying probably out of fear because they don't know what's going on. They can't handle their own fear inside. Exactly. So they're bullying other people. So that's what I tell my kids always: leave a legacy. Yeah. Be the person who's going to help Colleen take her to the bathroom. 
a sister, exactly. see if there's a problem, don't be the mean person. Yeah. That's very important. So w w when should a school step in and why do schools not step in in cases like this? Um, a lot of the times the cases that are reported to us that uh, mostly they complain that the school doesn't um, take action. Like I said, they don't know how serious it is to that person. Sure. So um, what we're going to do is start programs in schools with committees who are going to be trained by our online courses so that they know they have to look out for every child. Every child's important in the class. Yeah. Every child has a need. And if they do that, the schooling system is going to be much easier. Yeah. And, you know, we're going to be there as a support structure for them at the school um, yeah. governing bodies and things to actually handle these cases and, um, you know, change things that need to be changed, um, etc. Yeah, that's, it's important that people follow the right steps. It's very important. It is. So, Colleen, eventually you were taken out of school. Are you homeschooled now? Yes, I were homeschooled last term, but now I'm in a private school. Okay. And so is it much better for you now? Yes, I've I have three lovely friends, and yeah. we laugh together, we play together, we also have sleepovers and our nice. stuff. Do you feel safe now when you go yes. to school? Good. That's how it's supposed to be. <laughs> thank you for being so brave and sharing your no, story. Thank you with for us. being brave. It takes a lot to speak yeah, out. Yeah, it does. And that's what we want to tell the people out there. We've got a we've got a hashtag hashtag be brave sure. or brave. Because none of it's your fault. There's no. nothing you did wrong. It's no. just and she it speaks happens. for people who don't have a voice because exactly. everybody has a story. Yeah. Well done. Thank you for being here. <laughs> oh. <laughs>